The newest Supercell game, Squad Busters, just recently went global on May 29th, and it was the first Supercell game to go global in over six years. And don't get me wrong, it is a really fun, unique, and amazing game, but it definitely has a lot of major problems. So in this video, we're going to go over six major problems in Squad Busters, starting from the smallest leading up to the biggest. And we're also going to go over solutions on how Supercell could fix these problems. So grab a cup of elixir and let's dive right into this. Major problem number one, win streaks. Win streaks don't make any sense in Squad Busters because for some reason you can pay gold to save them when you lose. This really just ruins the entire point of a win streak. For example, let's say you check a player's profile and you think, wow, they have a really good win streak. This must be a good player. But then you will remember that you can just pay gold to save your win streak when you lose. So now there is no way to tell if a player is a pro or just some rich guy spending money to look like a pro. This is really annoying to me because I like to check the leaderboards and the top players have insane win streaks, but we all know they didn't actually win that many times in a row. Hopefully Supercell removes the pay to revive your win streak option. I mean, look at Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars is Supercell's most similar game to Squad Busters, and the win streaks in Brawl Stars actually make sense because they are real. You can't just pay gold to make it look like you won a ton of games in a row. Major problem number two, lack of game modes. All right, we can't complain about this too much because the game just came out, but Squad Busters only has one game mode. And no, I don't find it boring or repetitive yet because it's a really good game mode and there are tons of awesome modifiers and world switchups to make each match different. The problem is, Squad Busters is advertised as a party game to play with your friends, and the only way to do that is to invite your friends to a party and play in the same match. But that is fighting against each other. There's no way to play it with your friends on a team. So that's why I think the game needs some sort of duos or trios game mode. I think Supercell should make it similar to Brawl Stars, where there is solo and duo showdown. But anyways, the one game mode hasn't really gotten repetitive to me yet, but it is getting repetitive for lots of people, and I got a bunch of comments complaining about only having one game mode. But yeah, I don't think we have to worry too much about this because I'm sure that Supercell will add more game modes, and we have to remember, this game just came out. And I think lots of people are comparing it to the other Supercell games and complaining that it's not as good. But it makes perfect sense that it's not as good, because this game just came out and Supercell hasn't had much time to test what players like and don't like. All of the other Supercell games have had years of updates and feedback to make them really good. Well, some of them. So yeah, I don't think we have to worry about Squad Busters being a really repetitive game. Major problem number three, lack of social features. Okay, so at the time of making this video, clans still aren't a thing in Squad Busters. And it's actually really surprising. I thought Supercell would definitely make sure clans were in the game before it went global, but apparently not. And to be honest, this is probably the thing I hate most about Squad Busters. And I'm sure lots of you guys agree that this game needs clans. Because clans are such a big part of Supercell games. Every Supercell game has some sort of clan feature. Clash of Clans and Clash Royale of course have clans, Brawl Stars has clubs, and even Boom Beach and Heyday have clan features. I feel like if clans never get added to Squad Busters, the game will just get boring after a year or so. Without clans, clubs, whatever you want to call them, there's no way to talk about the game while you're playing it. And like I said earlier, this game is advertised as a fun party game to play with your friends. So if you haven't got my point, the game needs clans. But you know, I'm not going to worry about this because I'm almost positive clans will be added in the future. Oh, and by the way, if clans are added to this game, then I think that they should be called squads because it's literally the name of the game. Also, I've seen people say that the clan should be called gangs, but for certain reasons, I doubt Supercell would call it that. All right, now it's time to get into the problems that make squad busters pay to win. But first, I'm going to quickly ask you guys to subscribe because it's completely free and I have a ton of squad busters content coming in the future. This is just the start. Major problem number four, reroll tokens. All right, so if you don't know what reroll tokens do, they reroll your character options in chests during matches. And they are really useful, especially for when you get a mega unit, because let's say you finally get a mega unit and it's a dragon chicken. Well, with reroll tokens, you could just reroll and get a magical Shelly instantly, going from the worst mega to the best. So yeah, obviously reroll tokens are really good, but the problem is they are of course pay to win. You can get reroll tokens for 900 gold each, so obviously players who spend 
money could just buy unlimited and always reroll troops when they need to. Which really isn't that fair to free to play players because 900 gold is kind of a lot for free to play players, especially when you're buying chess tickets or saving up for a new character. And yes, of course, there are other ways to get reroll tokens like the daily chest in your plaza or Tara's challenge and sometimes the pinata. But you don't always get them in the daily plaza chest and Tara's challenge and the pinata aren't on every day. So some days free to play players just can't get any reroll tokens without spending precious gold. So I thought of a very simple and genius solution to this. I think Supercell should just completely remove reroll tokens from the game and make it so players get three rerolls each match. This is just like how it was in Clash Mini. A reroll wasn't an item, it was just a normal button that you could click a certain amount of times. But anyways, reroll tokens definitely aren't the most pay to win thing in this game, so let's get on to major problem number five, mega units. All right, I'm going to be honest, the mega system in this game just doesn't really make too much sense. Unlike normal troops, you can only use mega units an X number of times, and you are most likely to get one in a match more towards the end of the match if you have a small squad. It's similar to the bullet bill in Mario Kart. You can only get it when you need to make a comeback. So mega units are pretty much comeback troops. And yeah, I think mega units being comeback troops troops is a good addition to the game. But the problem with mega units is, is that when you get one, you can only use it once and then you will have to collect more. The main place to get megas is in the gem pass and obviously players who spend money on the game can get way more mega units than a free to play player. So yeah, it's pretty self explanatory on why these are pay the win. And other than being pay the win, the whole collect megas and use them in battle system just doesn't make too much sense. But don't worry, since I'm a genius, I thought of a solution to this. Megas should be like normal troops. They should be a one time unlock where you always have them after you have unlocked them. This would make everything so much more simple and it wouldn't be near as pay to win. But you know, megas definitely aren't near as pay to win as chest keys. So let's get on to major problem number six, chest keys. Okay, I'm sorry, but chest keys are a horrible addition to squad busters and definitely the most pay to win thing in the game. There are three types of keys, normal keys, epic keys, and fusion keys. Keys are consumable just like reroll tokens. You collect them from various events or of course you can buy them. And I'm sure you know, but you can use keys in battles to instantly get a free chest, which obviously makes chest keys very pay to win. Because just think about it, players who spend a bunch of money can just get an infinite amount of keys and are able to get a fusion pretty much any time they want. And this is so unfair to free to play players, especially if you're trying to push to leaderboards. And speaking of leaderboards, I just wanted to say, the reason these players are in leaderboards is because they are the ones who spend the most money and play the most, which kind of just proves squad busters is pay the win. But anyways, back to the keys. I think Supercell needs to rework or remove them really soon because tons and tons of players are complaining about it. And if you don't believe me, go to the App Store or Google Play Store and read the reviews. And with all of that being said, with all the problems in Squad Busters, it's still just a really good and overall fun game, and I think it will definitely see a lot of success. So guys, we don't have to worry, because I bet Supercell is paying close attention to our feedback to make this game better and better. And you just gotta remember, this is just the start, and good things take time. I mean, most good things, <laughs> not all good things. Oh, and one more thing, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not saying that those were the only major problems in squad busters there definitely are a lot more so make sure to leave any problems that you have with the game in the comments